okay so we are in affinity new document panel and we can just create a random size okay so i'm going for five by five as usual click create document so beginning with um make sure you're in vector studio okay so let's grab the rectangle tool sorry the ellipse tool so when you click on this the tools will float select the ellipse now you can use shift and then control to create or to create a perfect circle from the center all right so we got this right here now let me just change the color all right now let's grab the pen tool you can hit p on the keyboard okay for the pen tool right here so you can hover over here and click you automatically find the center like this hold shift click all right and up here if you have a fail make sure you turn you take it out set it to none and the size so the stroke size or the stroke width will be the spacing between them okay so if you increase if the size is like this that means the spacing will be like this okay the empty spaces will be like this or will look like this when we take them out i hope you understand don't worry when i'm done you understand the purpose of the stroke width okay so grab the move to view on the keyboard and hit enter so we have the move or duplicate all right so what we are going to do is rotate around okay we are going to create the sticks that will divide this so first of all we are going to check this box duplicate all right and number of copies so let me just set this number of copies to three three and i'm at eight right now let me just okay so four right so we are rotating so i'm just going to adjust this so you can hold use um shift and then up and down arrow keys you move by 10 okay 10 degrees so right now 40 degrees 50 degrees it will be rotating like that okay so let's come back to 10 or zero and let's set this to the number of copies to three and let's come back to rotation okay so when it is three so if you want to have about one two three four eight images that you want to put in the pizza all right you go for number of copies three so you have one two three four five six seven eight you have eight copies okay so if i make it two then after rotating i can get one two three four five six six um copies okay or six pieces all right so what we are going to do is let's say we we want three here three here um we can have the rotation at 60 degrees and we are good to go let's say we want to have four here four here that we go to number of copies three and then the rotation when you use the shift and then the up and down moving by 10 deg uh, 10 degrees you won't get a perfect um pieces you won't get perfect pieces okay the size won't be will never align so you can see this size is smaller than this size this one is way bigger so whether you go up down thousand times you can see you might think this is okay but if you check here the size is smaller than the size so you have to ignore the up and down i'm sorry you have to ignore the shift and use only the up and down when you are close to perfection so something like this let me just start from zero okay or uh, let me start from zero so you can use when you are starting you can use the shift to move faster 10 10 10 10 about here if i move 10 you see i won't get 
equal size okay so i will just move ignore the shift and then move with the arrow keys step by step okay so somewhere here you can see there is a blue line over here there is a blue line over here when it aligns with this, uh, this bar or this stroke you realize that the size is equal to the size you have equal sizes okay that is how you can get um, equal sizes so let's try four copies if i make it four copies all right and then i come to the rotation let's start from zero or zero so i will move 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 again and now when i move again i will never get uh, the size uh, the equal sizes okay so i'll step back 30 degrees i'll ignore the shift and then move use the up arrow keys to be moving let's say one pixel okay at a time so we realize that um let's say maybe you can use your eye okay i think this is good because when you check no okay so you can see one point six nine eight over here one point six nine eight over here let me see if i go forward it will change now it will change but when it's uh, when it is like this you can somehow tell that they are not equal all right let's see if you go forward you can use a horizontal line like this so let me step back mm, okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight is that what we are supposed to get no we are hiding another bar <laughs> you are supposed to get five one two three four five one two three four five okay so then we can just do something like this use the up and down i, th I think no i don't think <laughs> i'm not thinking right now all right so i think now i'm thinking this is this is, okay this is the best size that we can get okay so i'm using this if you use five you have to use the up and down arrow keys to make sure you have equal sizes okay all right so click okay now let's select in the layers panel let's select all the lines Control g to group okay or you can click this to group the layers all right now let's scale it up okay so we need to make sure it is at the center of the ellipse so what are we going to do we can drag everything up here we have alignment click it we have um align center and then align middle all right so it is directly centered now we can right click and on group all okay so if we select this guy all right we right now we can't use the shape builder to to subtract from the um this guy the circle because this is a stroke and this is an l um a fill okay <laughs> there's a fill or a shape so we need to convert this stroke into a fill so that it has a fill all right because right now a stroke you can't apply fill to it all right so we when we select this guy alone we can come to vector and expand stroke so once you expand the stroke it is now a fill just like the circle so you can change the color like that all right so let's expand all of them now you may ask why am i expanding them one after the other let's if you if you like try select <laughs> this one and this one and go to vector and expand stroke okay so it, it, it worked i thought it would why didn't i test this out before doing disgracing myself over here all right so vector and expand stroke have we expanded expandables so once everything is done highlight no don't move highlight all of them okay to select all of them and then we have um the shape builder tool over here this guy is called the shape builder tool good so we are going to subtract all right so before we use the shape builder tool let's make sure we select everything okay why is it not selecting 
and now we grab the shape builder tool we can do this in a split second but i just want to take my time okay so up here we have to take this to click this minus okay so that we can get rid of the blacks so over here it's like a mandala we will take our time and get rid of them so when you click we need to click and drag over the blacks to remove them all right if you do it like this you pass through this it'll remove that pie uh, pizza over there so let me undo So once we are done like this, we can we have to separate each pizza into a new layer. Okay. So what we are going to do is very simple. Let's go into the layers panel. Right click on this layer that we got here, and um, let's come. Let's rasterize. Okay. So rasterize. Choose rasterize down here. All right. It is now pixel layer. But before you convert it to a pixel layer or rasterize it you have to make sure that you won't cut any anywhere let me show you what i mean let me undo right now i still have curves right so let's say you want to create a hole over here you have to do that before you rasterize it so let's grab the ellipse like this okay and create an ellipse from the center okay this, this thing is not centered so i can come up here and then center it good now when i grab this ellipse i can just create an ellipse from the center like this okay so um let me take away the stroke because i want to fill all right select this new ellipse shift select the main pie pizza thing and with the um shape builder to minus you can just take this out okay and you have this this if you want to do it like this you are good to go if you want to maintain the pointed edges or those triangle shape or triangular shapes then you maintain it and you just rasterize so right now i will rasterize so it is now pixel so let's go to pixel studio and in pixel studio we come over here object selection to click the first guy ignore it come to the second selection brush to grab it like that if you are seeing this plus keza icon over here make sure you increase the size so use the arrow i'm um, sorry uh, bracket keys okay so the closing bracket key will increase the size so something like this is okay and all you need to do is just double click on this one you can start with any of them okay so i'll start here double click it gets selected now just use ctrl x and then ctrl v cut this one into a new layer over here we can turn it off all right so it is off now before we cut another one we have to select the main pizza select the main pizza layer ctrl d to deselect this one and then double click on this one to uh, just select this ctrl x ctrl v a new layer select the main you can hide this one and then ctrl d to deselect everything select a new one ctrl x ctrl v hide oh sorry hide this one <laughs> ctrl d to deselect and do the rest so i'm done with mine and in the layers panel you can see all of them okay in each layer so this guy the last guy is there um was the parent pizza i can delete it all right so if I select this guy, its layer will be selected and then I can bring the image that I want to clip in. So I'll just go and bring the image that I want to clip in. 
okay so i'll just place it on top like that in the layers i'll just drag and drop it okay it is in i can what is in i can resize it all right simple as it is. so it is now up to you to just do whatever you want to do with this okay so select the next one which is this you can click it directly and then drag and drop resize all right so that's the end of this video thanks for watching if you enjoy give it a like you know you can do this the, this won't take you two minutes but i just wanted to take my time and do it explain everything especially when we were creating those rotation so kindly forgive me for extending uh, extending this too much okay um i'm out thanks for watching once again peace out